I love the POV from Nampa Stream Prime. It shows the real you. You gotta appreciate your height, your balding, and your few palma art. Who's gonna sock? Who, who's gonna sock him in the face? What are you doing? You better. You better let go. Of him. Ugly ah. back. Ah. Uh ah. -huh. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, I got burnt. Shoot her. Shoot her. You know, it's not often that I find something that just it fills me with so much emotion that I don't really know what to feel at the end. On one hand, I'm infuriated that this even happened or transpired to begin with. Uh, I'm saddened by society that we've let someone's mental health decline so much to the point where they thought this action was normal. And I'm kind of I'm kind of satisfied at how the whole thing wrapped up. I'm pretty happy how it ended. Guys, welcome back to another video. And if you aren't already subscribed, I highly recommend doing it now. Getting that out of the way. This isn't exactly something that I thought I would be talking about. When I opened Twitter, I did not anticipate seeing an actual just crime. Just from start to finish, antagonistic crime. Literally someone who would, you know, a police report would come in and that call would come in and they would be called in for a potential active shooter, right? Getting ready to start doing something horrible. That's what this felt like watching from start to finish. I genuinely thought I was going to watch a snuff film when seeing this. Just because of how aggressive this individual in this kickstream is from start to finish, and then the complete mind flip of that he is completely innocent, he's got it all on camera, and it just the desperation the insanity, the delusion that exists in this clip is, is it's insane. It's something I've never seen another human being do before. I've seen people do things similarly before. Like, you know when you're like in middle school and that one kid keeps acting up and then he gets called out on it by the teacher, right? And he goes, man, I, I, I didn't even do anything. What are you talking about? What are, you guys are just, I didn't do anything. You, I didn't do nothing. What are you talking about? Gaslighting before we even knew what gaslighting was. So I'll give you a quick rundown. It's not that hard to figure out what's happening, but I'll, I'll explain a little bit. So obviously these two people are the, the couple, whatever, whoever they are to each other, are pretty close to each other. They are presumed to be kissing, you know, uh, cuddling up to each other. They're not doing anything wild. They're not doing anything illegal, not immediately noticeable as illegal. They're not just letting it hang out. They're not just like doing something crazy out in public. Nothing wrong with that. And just to be an antagonist, uh, our hero decides he's going to pull a Jack Doherty and proceed to harass anyone and everyone he can, including these couple, the, these two people, right? There's nothing wrong that they're doing. He proceeds to shove a camera in their face, berate them, say, man, fuck you. You're not shit, and you're not shit. Naturally, how would you take that if you're on the receiving end? You wouldn't take that too well. Total stranger walks up to you and proceeds to get in your face. Uh, proceeds to berate you and it seems unprovoked. So off rip you're assuming to yourself, this guy's probably fucking nuts. He's probably delusional. He needs to leave. I'm going to ask you, I'm, I'm going to get I'm, get this shit out of my face. A completely normal reaction, by the way. I'm putting that out there right now. To push the camera out of your face after being berated with no prior interaction, completely normal. I'm 100% defending this. I don't care. I will die on this hill. And then things escalate, of course. Um, the victim, the female victim, appears to be a little intoxicated. You know, it's a night on the town, completely normal thing. And uh, then the chat starts going off. The chat isn't exactly, you know, anything absurd that I've seen. In this situation, though, to be on the receiving end of the chat coming off the speaker saying, shoot her, and other things like that while she's being insulted through the chat and they're threatening her and they're getting in her face so off of rip we have antagonistic delusional backed up by mob mentality right already not a safe situation to be in god forbid that uh, you know what actually no i feel that it would have been better if the one of the victims was armed straight up with you because i thought that this situation was going to go sideways so fucking fast he like i said it's alluded to that he maced the couple and then presents a firearm. Don't talk my shit. Don't drive my shit. I, I'll promise you I'll shoot the shit. Put, let, let it go. Don't talk my shit. I promise you. 
Who the? Why would you grab the shit on my phone? You don't understand what trouble you're getting yourself I, into. What? What trouble? No, 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 Let go no, of my no, shit. No, I promise you, I'll stop. blow you away. But I promise you, I'll blow you away. We're gonna leave. I promise you. You about to get blasted. I. What? Here. What? Leave your charger. And leave. She touched us first. She touched us first. All right, I could. It's public. It's public. Put your fucking All right, yeah. Fuck out of here. Dear God, how can you be so fucking stupid? You literally recorded the entire reaction, the, the entire interaction from beginning to start and then proceeded to go, I have it on recording, guys. What the fuck are you talking about? You, you're just making shit up. You're just fucking gaslighting me. You're just fucking with me and I don't appreciate it. I will blow you away. I will blow you the fuck away. I'm going to fucking shoot you. Just announcing this out in public, right? Now, if a police officer overhears this without what's happening, right? This was called in theoretically. What the fuck do you think the police officer's reaction is going to be? And what the fuck did you think was going to happen that from your perspective, God forbid, uh, I'm saying from his perspective, the antagonist here, that the other individual was armed, your shit would have been fucking wiped. Your shit would have been wiped off the fucking earth. You would have ceased to exist. The fucking stupidity in this is beyond me. I've never seen anyone act so fucking bold with a gun in their hand, absolutely just like saying wreck shit, and then going, you guys, you guys touched us first. What the fuck? What do you mean? What? what? So already I, I've established my, my list. I've started my list. Antagonistic, delusional, we'll add to that. Carrying multiple weapons, uh, presumed to be because they mentioned the being sprayed with something, so I'm assuming mace. And you can, of course, hear the gun get drawn from a holster. So he, you know, he carries, right? He has a regular carry, which I have no idea how the fuck someone like this got access to a regular carry or got to carry. Because that's fucking insane to me that someone like this wasn't immediately flagged as a fucking insane asylum patient. Excuse me for being a little uh, passionate, a little, uh, you know, energetic about this. But this is so fucking beyond me that an individual like this even exists in real life. And I get it's 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 a kick streamer, right? We're gonna get that with kick streamers. They're gonna be saying and doing some wreck shit. But it's not this is nothing like the, the Aiden Ross, like some dude was talking about it. he saw his aunt's OnlyFans, and then he called up the the, the aunt. I was like, Man, I just saw you getting fucked. What the fuck, man? You, you doing OnlyFans? And she's like, Yeah, I just gotta get my own money, man. Like I, I don't need you guys' money. I can do things do things on my own, I'm a grown adult. This is fucking nothing like that. This is just pure, pure fucking, basically terrorism. I'm just gonna call it what it is. He's going around harassing people, pulling out a weapon, pulling out other items to blind and hurt people. This is fucking, this is horrible. There's no way that this guy hasn't been wiped yet. And I'm using wiped for a different term, but you're picking up what I'm putting down. This man is incredibly lucky to be alive right now, to be breathing at all. And I apologize for like the, the SpongeBob thing. I had to censor some of that because the firearm is just being very much presented. And I don't know what YouTube's rules would have been. I don't know how much reach this video is really going to get. I'm going to be honest with you. But this is fucking nuts. There's no way that someone actually sat down and was like, you know what? I think I'm in the right. I, I think I did everything I could to defend myself right there. Fuck you, you ain't shit. But, um, you know, I think I did everything. I'm gonna fucking blow you. You, you pick it. You, see how that's hard to fucking c come to the conclusion of? But the, uh, the story of this bumbling fucking Neanderthal with half his goddamn frontal lobe missing and most of his motor functions having to be constantly monitored by an adult. I, I had a pretty happy ending. I'm not gonna lie to you. In my opinion, at the very least. Maybe not for him. But he was roughed up and arrested, and I really hope he does face serious jail time for this, because this is the dumbest shit that I've ever seen. No human being should be acting like this, and this man is completely unfit for the rest of society. It doesn't matter where he goes. Huh? We all did in TA confrontation. Why? What are we putting on here, man? No, what? No, no, stop, stop, stop. No, no, I don't want problem. I don't want problem. I don't want, I'm relaxing, I'm relaxing, sir. Sir, I'm just recording. He didn't do don't nothing. Move, don't move, don't move. So, so 60 by giving sir, Red Cromwell. Sir, sir, I'm, I'm relaxed. I'm relaxed. Hey, you, you go. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. You don't have to step down. Fuck the cops. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Please. Don't hurt me. On your stomach. On your stomach. On your stomach. On your stomach. Now. Don't 
No reach. I'm not reaching. Come on, sir. Watch the bullet. Put your hands back. Put your hands back. And you ace me. Sure, Fuck sure. all these okay. cops. Uh, him throwing his little shit fit put a goddamn smile down. I am. I'm relaxing. The whole time is just that was so satisfying. I was. I'm really glad to share something positive. Uh, although it started negative, I'm really glad to you know change my ways talking about negative things all the time and really shift it up into something that everyone can enjoy. I feel like you can show this to the whole family and everyone's gonna get a pretty pretty good cake out of it. I was glad to share that with you guys, and I hope you all have a great day. Check out the rest of the channel by subscribing and sticking around. Uh, there's a Discord server in the link below if you want to check around for updates or maybe hang out play games. I've been playing Castle Crashes a lot, so if you want to jump in. By the way, Castle Crashes is $1.50 on Steam Summer Sale right now. Highly recommend it. Love that game. And uh, like if you like it, dislike if you dislike it. And this has been me sharing what made me smile today. See ya.